Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video I will show you 3 best free Android and iOS screen mirroring software for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So without further more delay, let's begin. So before proceeding further with this video tutorial, firstly what you need to do, if you are using an Android smartphone then just go to the phone settings and just scroll down below and you can see about phone just tap on it and now you can see here software information just tap on it now here you can see a build number just keep on tapping keep tapping until the developer mode option is turned on so in my case you can see developer mode has already been turned on so in my case it's being turned on so if you have not turned on then kindly turn on this option first then after that just go back and now you can see a developer option as you can see just below the about phone so in your case if you does not find just near the about phone then there might be one option on your phone settings name is advanced so you can click there and you can find out the developer option or if you have a search option inside your phone settings then just search for developer options by typing a developer options so after this just open the developer option just scroll down below and you can see here option name as USB debugging right so in my case it's being turned on so if in your case it's not turned on then just enable this USB debugging firstly so the first task is completed so on the first list we have the scrapey so open any web browser on your respective computer and in the Google search just search for the application name as scrapey s-c-r-c-p-y the search this name and on the first list you will see it's official website or the developer website just click on it now just scroll down below now this creepy is available for you can see for Linux Windows and Mac OS as well as for Android smartphones so if you are willing for iOS sadly this application is not available for iOS but so if you're using an Android smartphone and any of this computer then you can screen mirror using this application so here are some instruction you can see here how to install or download in case of Linux you can use this command and if in the Windows you can directly click on download to download the software and if you're using a Mac OS then you need to use this command to install this application on your respective computer so firstly download for your respective computer and after that first connect your Android smartphone with the USB data cable firstly and once you have connected your USB data cable with your respective computer just open or run the scrapey software on your respective computer we'll see this kind of command and it will directly open so if it's not directly open then you may find uh, options to allow so in my case it's being directly allowed so you can see directly my Android home screen on my respective computer right so if it's asking or showing some message to allow then just tap on the allow on your respective Android smartphones so now you can use it or you can use a computer mouse also to use the screen so here one good thing is that you can use your mouse also to you can use a computer mouse also to slide or to touch or to click or to type anything so such options are very rare in the free version of any screen mirroring software so this is one plus point of this software and the good thing about this software is that this screen mirroring application is totally free of course and it's a open source software so if you're using an Android smartphone and you want to mirror the screen on your respective computer then it's quite useful for you so definitely a very good screen mirroring application that you should definitely try it out on the second list we have the let's view so once again just open any web browser and in the Google search just search for the application name as let's view and on the first list you will see its official website just click on it so you can see here download options so if you're using a different operating system so in my case I'm already using a Windows computer so if you're using a Mac or iOS or Android anywhere it's available for different devices so sadly this application is not available for Linux users so if you are using a Linux then you can use this applications but other than that if you are using any 
one of this operating system then you can download it on your respective devices so similarly if you're using Android device you can just go to the Play Store to download this application and if you're using a iPhone or iPad then just go to the App Store and download for your respective iOS devices so firstly download and install on your respective devices so before proceeding or using this software name as let's view both your computer as well as your android or ios smartphones which you are going to screen mirror both the device should be connected on the same wi-fi internet connection so if you don't have a same wi-fi internet connections then this applications may not work perfectly for you so firstly connect both your computer as well as your smartphone whether it's an android or your ios or iphone or ipad devices firstly connect both your both of your devices with uh, same wi-fi internet connections then after that on your respective computers just open or run the application that is the let's view so you can see this kind of user interference right so you can see here on the upper there are some tabs like phone screen mirroring or you want to mirror the computer screen on your mobile also so it's possible to mirror your computer screen in your android smartphone or ios smartphone also if you choose this second option so right now i'm gonna mirror my phone screen on my computer so i'll just select this and you can see here on the right side one floating bar right barcode or some numbers right so you can use this code to directly connect with your respective smartphone so on your respective smartphone whether if you're using a android or ios just open the same application so you will see this kind of user interference right so now you can see up below in your smartphone connection so let's view my name is already showing there so what you need to do if it is directly detected then you can just click on this options and if it is not detected you can see on the upper side there is some barcode scanner you can use the scanner on the right top corner on your smartphone and scan the barcode as you can see here you can directly scan this barcode from your computer on your smartphone then you can easily connect it but right now you can see since i'm using a same wi-fi interconnection it's already showing here below let's view my name so i will just tap on it on my respective smartphone now you can see there are two options on my smartphone showing one is phone screen mirroring or computer screen mirroring so right now i want to use the phone screen mirroring that is i want to mirror my smartphone screen on my computer so i will select the first option so you can see your start so you can tap on the start on your respective smartphone as well as on your computer so now you can see now let us minimize my smartphone home screen so this is how you can connect and you can use your Android smartphone as a screen mirroring on your respective computer so definitely a very good screen mirroring applications and this application is also free of course but the sad part here is that this application only supports wirelessly so if you want to use it using a USB data cable so this application does not have such options so if you want to use a wirelessly then this application is a good choice for you so definitely a very good screen menu applications that you should definitely try it out by yourself so on the third list we have the visor so once again open any web browser and in the google search just search for the application name as visor so you can see its official website on the first list just click on it now you can see here its official website so here is the download options but before clicking it you can see here some features below and you can see here it's available for your iOS, Android, even for Windows, Mac, even for Linux and even for Chromebooks or the Chrome OS. So it's available for almost every operating system. So this is one plus point of using this screen mirroring software. Now, so you can click on the download to download for your respective operating system. So if you're using a Windows computer or the Mac computer, then you can download for your respective computers or if you're using an android then just go to the play store and download from there and if you're using an ios that is the iphone or ipad devices just go to the app store and download this 
similar application name as Pisor on your respective devices. So firstly, you download on both of the devices, both in the computer as well as in your smartphones or your tablets. Just download the similar applications and install it firstly. So before proceeding, connect your smartphone with your respective computer using a USB data cable. So firstly connect it. So I have connected. So you can see the applications that is already detecting and it's asking some permissions. So now click on allow on your respective smartphone. If it's asking for permission, just click on allow and just open the PySor on your respective computer. So now you can see it's detected my Android smartphone, right? So you can just click on here. Now it's trying to connect, but for a few seconds. So you can see here. Now you can see here your phone screen on your respective computer. So this is how you can connect your smartphone with your computer and mirror your smartphone screen on your respective computer. So here you you need to use a USB data cable. So sadly here no wireless support. So if you're in a need of both wirelessly support as well as with the USB data cable then the Scribby is the best choice for you. But if you're using a iOS devices though you have only two choice that is either you use a let's view for wirelessly and you need to use a Pisor for connecting widely on your respective iOS devices. So if you're using an Android devices, then you can stick with the first one that is the Scrippy. But in my point of view, all of these three screen mirroring applications are totally free of cost and definitely very good that you should definitely check it out by yourself. So these are the three best free Android and iOS screen mirroring software for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So definitely give it a try. So if you find this video tutorial useful, please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button and lastly, thanks for watching.